Hi, Paul with Dive with Dynamics, taking a look at our new Always On mod for the Q50. Now, from the factory, whenever the car is running, you got a nice DRL in the headlights, which will light up the outer LEDs and the eyebrow. When you turn on the headlights or at night, your main headlight beam turns on and the lower fog lights can be turned on as well. What this model do is allow those fog lights to stay on as a DRL as well to add a unique look during the day. Installation will just take a couple minutes with a few basic tools. To get started, we're gonna turn the wheel to the left and pop the hood. So this whole mod is plug and play. We're not gonna be cutting any wires or anything. Uh, it's got these OEM connectors built right into the harness. But we have to access the headlight plug, which is a little tricky. We have to remove the front air duct first uh, with a small flathead or other small tool. We're just gonna unclip the three locking screws on this side and on this side, and then the two on either side in the back. So let's remove those eight locking screws. So we've removed all eight of those. We did not have to remove the two in the middle here. One thing to notice is that there's actually two different sizes. The one with the totally flat surface has to go in towards the middle here. The one with the textured surface is bigger. Those will go to the outside and the back one. So now with everything removed, we're just gonna pull this straight up and out. Now we just need to move the passenger side airbox out of the way. It's just two screws, it's 10 millimeter socket. So we're gonna remove the first one right here on top. Then you'll want to shorten down your wrench if you can. Get it as short as possible uh, with just your stubby socket there. And then the other one is right underneath the uh, I guess shroud cover here. So it's this other one right here. And uh, I'll just lift it up a little bit and I can get right in there. You can unclip this whole thing if you want. It's just a little tight. Uh, no, no reason to do it if you don't have to. They're a little long, but they come right out. There's our second one. And now with both of those undone, the only other thing holding this is kind of a grommet plug at the bottom. So we can just pull it straight up. And actually on that flexible tube, I'm just gonna set it right up here while I'm working. Cause all we need to do is access underneath the headlight right here. Okay, so this is a hard shot to get on camera, but all I'm doing is reaching down. Uh, this is the headlight connector we've got to unplug. This is the back of the air box. There's plenty of room down here, just hard to show on camera. But we're gonna be unplugging this headlight connector here. And uh, so I've got a small tool. There's a clip on the bottom side that is pretty tight. So I'm just gonna be touching that with my finger to try to locate where it's at. And then use that small tool to really help depress just that tab. If you get it on there just right, you just have to kind of press up. And it might be helpful to actually unclip it with one hand and use your other hands to pull it back. I'm gonna to try to do it with one so I can not block it. There you go. So it's just that clip that can be pretty hard to depress. But just feel around, get a little tool, and you'll be able to get it unplugged. Okay, so now we're coming uh, from the front of the vehicle and we got the headlight connector here. Uh, go ahead and grab your uh, harness and you'll see there there's bigger connectors on it. Those are matching, so we're gonna just plug one side into the headlight connector. It's just straight through connection, so clip that in. Again, nice tight clip. And then we're just gonna push this directly into the headlight. Remember, clip goes on the bottom, and we will just feel for that and plug it directly uh, into that headlight socket. Listen for that click. And then we're gonna take the other side, which is our fog light connector, and we're just gonna drop it straight down. Now we're gonna to move to the passenger side wheel well, and remember, we turned the wheel to the left before we started. We're just gonna be removing this one plastic screw here. So just take your small tool again and unclip that guy. Now we can pull this away just by kind of pulling the bumper out a little bit and just kind of yanking this out. Now, if you want to, you can take the whole wheel off to access this whole thing, but we just need a little access to get in there and make that connection. So now we're looking in the wheel well area. We got a light in here, um, but you'll be able to see right away the back of your fog light. We're just gonna uh, pull back on the tab on the connector and pull it down to unplug that. 
Now you'll want to grab the uh, harness that you sent down here. You'll see one side is the same. We're going to plug it in. It only goes in one way, so if you can't plug it in, just turn it around and that will clip in. Then the other side, just like the headlight, we're going to plug back into that factory connector. We're just going to, again, it'll only go in one way. So just line that up and clip that in to secure. So that's about it. But before we reassemble, we're going to test it all out. Remember, the fog light will now come on with the DRLs, which means the car has to be running and the headlights have to be off. So we're going to switch the headlights to off and start the car. So now we can see instead of just the top DRLs, we're going to have our lower fog lights on as a DRL as well. We're going to go ahead and get everything reassembled now. When you reinstall the air box, just look down and make sure that grommet plug goes right into place. So that's kind of push it back so you can set, set it in that hole. Once you get everything fastened up, that'll complete the installation. As you can see, it is plug and play. It takes a couple minutes. You're gonna get your hands dirty, but it's not really too difficult. We do include that little small screwdriver tool with your order, so all you need is that 10 millimeter socket. Now, with your DRLs on, anytime the headlights are off, your fog light will still be on as a DRL. This doesn't affect the function at all during the night with your normal fog lights. It's just now your fog lights are gonna be always on as a DRL. You can find this product online at diodynamics.com or check our dealer locator to find it at a store near you. Thanks for watching.